God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Today we're going to be praying for our court cases. If you or anyone has a court case, you're at the right place and at the right time. We're going to be praying and we're going to believe God for you to have victory in the court case. We're going to be praying for the Lord to give you victory in winning the battle over whatever case that you face in the court of man. And so we're going to be praying today. We're going to be using the word of God and we're going to be praying and we're going to trust God to do something great in our lives. We're going to trust God to give you victory over every situation in the court of man. And we're going to be praying and believing God for a miracle. We're going to believe God for his mercy and his compassion towards us, even when we don't de deserve it. And so my brothers and sisters, as you join me in prayer today, I pray that the Lord will hear you and answer your prayers. I pray that the Lord will strengthen you. I pray that your heart and your mind will be renewed. I pray that you'll turn from sin and turn to the Lord. And I pray that the name of the Lord be glorified. God bless you. So we're going to be praying for court cases. Or if you rather, we're going to pray to win the battle in court. Or we're going to have prayers for victory over court cases. So whichever you want to term it, that's fine. We're just going to be praying for court cases. So these prayers, therefore, when you really have a court case and want victory in those cases that are in the court, it is for when you want your court cases to be decided in your favor. It is for when you are in court and is guilty and need the mercy of God in the decision over your case. It is for when you are faced by a jury or a panel which decides your fate. It is for when you are charged or convicted in the human court and only the mercy of God can help you. These prayers will help you if you have a dream of being tried or convicted in the courtroom. If you see these things in your dream, you want to be praying these prayers too. So your spiritual encounter will not become physical manifestation. It is for... When there is a conspiracy against you and you need God, you need the hand of God to do a divine intervention to deliver you, whether it be in the court case or whether it be anything that you are tried in. It could be a conspiracy, it could be a gathering in your workplace, it could be anything. You need these type of prayers to be praying. And so as we pray these prayer points, we pray and we ask the Lord that he will hear us and he will answer our cry. We also Ask God to call, we should ask God to allow the judge and the lawyer, or the jury, or the magistrate, or whoever it is that is in the court to give a judgment that will favor you. And we're gonna pray and ask the Lord to, you know, in his mercy, to deliver us, to hear us, and to answer our prayers and give us another chance. So, my brothers and sisters, I encourage you that if you're guilty of whatever matter that you have in the court. I encourage you to give your life to the Lord. I encourage you to go before the Lord and repent of your sins. Confess your sins to the Lord and repent. Because it's good to confess and lay it out to the Lord and say to the Lord whether you're guilty or you're not guilty. So that God will have mercy on you and hear your prayer. And so I'm just going to give you the opportunity. If you have never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ before we even begin these prayers, I'm going to give you, give you this opportunity to do so. I'm going to be saying a prayer. And as I say the prayer, I want you to repeat the prayer after me. And this prayer is basically to, to it's a confession, a statement of confession to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And for those who have accepted Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, while I'm praying with these People that are willing to give their life to Christ, I encourage you to just need, go on your knees and begin to ask God to have mercy on you. If you know you're guilty over your court case, go to the Lord and confess your sins to the Lord and ask him to have mercy on you. God is a merciful God. It doesn't matter what crime you have committed. He's able to forgive you. And so I want to encourage you to go before the Lord and ask him for mercy. So while you do that, I'm going to ask if there's anybody on the line that has never given their Christ to the Lord, their, their life to the Lord Jesus Christ, or if you want to, um, you want to recovenant yourself with the Lord, you want to re rededicate your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, then I'm going to say this prayer and you say it after me. So Lord Jesus, I come to you right now as a sinner. Lord, have mercy on me. 
Today, Lord, I confess all of my sins to you. Father, have mercy upon me. Father, I turn away from sin, the world, and the flesh. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Take absolute control of my life. Lord, today I confess and I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Fill me with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Lord, I surrender my life to you. And I confess that I'm a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have said that prayer with me, I just want to congratulate you for accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you're in any area where there's a Bible-believing church, I encourage you to reach out to them and let them know that you have recently accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And just ask them to direct you with your Christian walk. If you have any questions or comments, just send us an email at ogodarizeministries at gmail.com or just go on our website and send us an email from there at ogodarizeministries.com. So as we're going to pray, I trust that the Lord will hear us and he will answer our prayers. And as I intercede with you over whatever court case you're dealing with, I pray that the name of the Lord will be glorified in your lives and in your family in Jesus name. So before we pray, we're just going to sing a song of worship. We're going to sing the song of worship. Pick whatever song that comes to your mind and just begin to worship the Lord. Whatever song that comes to your heart, begin to sing it out and worship the Lord. Oh Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Sing to the Lord. Lord, we are, you are so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Sing to the Lord. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Compassionate Jesus, how I love you. How I love to call your name, the feelings for me, oh Lord, makes me fall in love with you. That's why I know that you are my God. Sing along, sing along to the Lord. Compassionate Jesus, how I love you. How I long to give you praise. The feelings you have towards me makes me fall in love with you. That's why I know you are a merciful God. Just begin to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for his wonderful mercy towards you. Thank him for his compassion that never fail. Thank him. Thank him because, you know, we don't even deserve his mercy, yet he give it to us. Thank him for, get, for having mercy on you in the matter of the court. Thank him for having mercy on you and giving you victory over every court case. Father, we bless your name because you're good God. We give you all the glory because you're wonderful. In Jesus' name. So take out your Bible and turn to Psalms 27. Psalms 27, verse 1 to 3, we're going to read. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Let's read this verse again, verse 2. When the wicked... Even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Let's turn to Isaiah 54 verse 15. Isaiah 54 verse 15. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. 
whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. I want you to say that scripture and you just personalize it and confess it over yourself. You can include your name or whatever, however you want to confess it, but personalize it. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against me shall fall for my sake. You know where you say whosoever shall gather together against me, instead of saying me, you can put your name and you can say they shall fall for your sake. Instead of thy sake, you put your name. So you can do it like that. Let's confess it one more time. Personalize it. They shall behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against me shall fall for my sake. Let us go to Romans 8, verse 31 to 37. We're going to read it. We're going to confess the word of God. And then we're going to get right into prayers. So Romans 8, 31 to 37. I'm going to be using the King James Version. If you're there, let us read together. What shall we say then? To, what shall we say? What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him, him up for us all. Shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justify it. Who is he that condemn it? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is ever at the right hand of God? Who also maketh intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. So we're going to pick some of these scripture from the same Romans 8, 31 to 37, and we're going to confess them. So we're going to say the scripture say, what shall we say then? If God be for us, who can be against us? So I want you to confess. If God be for me. Who can be against me? So you can say your name. If God be for you, who can be against you? So just say it, confess it. If God be for us, who can be against us? You can say it, personalize it in the name of Jesus. And the Bible said in the 33rd verse says, Who shall lay anything to charge to the charge of the elect of God? So you can say, I decree that I am a child of God. And no one shall lay any charge to me because I am the elect of elect of God. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to move to verse 35. And we're going to say, who shall separate us from the love of God? Then we're going to say, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, and you can add our court case, you know, or you can say whatever your situation is, you can just add it to that. And then you say, as it is written, we are more than conqueror. You can say, I am more than a conqueror through him that love you. I hope you get what I'm saying. You can take it on your own time. You can just read the scripture and be confessing it over your situation as you go into your prayers or even before when you do your quiet time you just take the scripture and begin to confess it and meditate on it and trust that the word of god will not fall on the ground when it comes on to your situation so we just want to praise the lord for he is worthy we're going to get right into prayers right now we're going to pray to the almighty father for he is a god that is merciful and is just and he's holy we're just thanking the Lord for his tender mercy towards us. Lord, we thank you for your compassion. Lord, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you because you're omnipotent. We thank you because you're a loving father. We thank you because you are the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Ancient of days, we bless your name. Lion of tribe of Judah, we bless your name. Father, we give you thanks because you're holy. We give you thanks because you're righteous. We give you thanks because you're the unchanging God that never fail in the name of jesus lord as we come to you in prayer now 
with your children, Lord, concerning court case. I cry out to you on their behalf, Lord, and as they cry, Lord, I ask you for mercy on their behalf. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name because you're good God. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to be praying. Almighty and everlasting Father, we call out to you through your word and in our prayers. Have mercy on us, dear Lord. In the name of Jesus, almighty and everlasting Father, we call out to you through your word and in our prayers. My Father, have mercy on your children, O God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we cry out to you, Abba, Father, through your word and in our prayers. My Father, my God, have mercy on your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we are faced with men in the human court. And so we call unto you to be our judge. Lord, you are a just and righteous judge. And we have no one to turn to but you. Have mercy on us, O God. In the name of Jesus, my father, your children are faced with men in the human court. And they are coming to you in humility, O God. And they are calling to you as their Lord and their master. Lord, be their judge. Have mercy on them, O God. You are a just and righteous judge, O God. And so, God, they turn to you because they have nowhere else to turn. Lord, we ask you for mercy, O God. Have mercy on your children, O God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have promised that you will fight for me. My Father, I come to you at this time. And I want you to know that I am desperate. My Lord and my Master, arise in your power and fight for me. In this court case, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you have promised. Lord, you have promised your children that you will fight for them. Lord, in your mercy, O oh God, they come to you at this time, O oh God, and they want you to know, God, that they're desperate. They want you to know that they don't know what to do, God. And so, God, we ask you to arise for their sake, O oh God, and fight for them in their court cases, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I confess my sins that led me to this situation. I confess my guilt to you, Lord. My Father, if, if we have found favor in your sight, O oh Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus, Lord, your children confess their sins to you. Confess your sins to the Lord. The, the sins that led them to the situations. Lord, they confess their guilt to you, O oh Lord. My Father, my Master, if they have found favor in your sight, my Lord and my God, have mercy upon them right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, you promised that no weapon that form against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against me in judgment will be condemned. My Father, prove your word in my life and this court case. And have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, you promised your children that no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against them in judgment, God, they will be condemned. My Father, my God, I cry on behalf of your children. And I ask you to prove your word in their lives, O God. And in their court cases, O God. And have mercy upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I cry out to you, my Father, as your child. Have mercy on me and vindicate me in this court matter. In the mighty name of Jesus, my father, I cry out to you, O God, as your child in this court matter. And I call out to you, O God, to have mercy and vindicate me in this court matter. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, your children cry out to you, O Father. As your children cry out to you, O God. Lord, I ask you to have mercy on them and vindicate them in their court cases, in the matter that they're dealing with in the court. My Father, have mercy on them. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, these court cases seem so impossible. It appears as if man have an upper hand in their court cases. But Lord, you make the impossible possible. 
So I'm crying out to you on behalf of your children. Have mercy on them. In the name of Jesus, my father, the court cases of your children seem impossible. It appears if man have the upper hand in their court cases, oh God. But Lord, we know God, Lord God, you are God that can make impossible situations possible. And so God, I cry out on behalf of your children, oh God. And I ask you at this time to have mercy upon them, oh God. Have mercy upon them, Lord. Make every impossible situation in their life be possible in jesus name father by your mercy have mercy and remove the garment of shame from me and let your favor take full control in the name of jesus my god i pray for your children that you will have mercy upon them oh god remove the garment of shame from them lord and let your favor take full control have mercy on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, you said you will establish me to the end. You have said, Lord, that you will never leave me nor forsake me. And so, God, I cry out to you to avenge me of my adversaries. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, Lord, you said in your word that you will establish your children to the end. You said that you will never leave them nor forsake them. And so, God, we cry out together, O oh God. And I ask you at this time, O oh God, to have mercy upon them, O oh God, and avenge them of their adversaries in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for your strength in this court case. I ask you to help me to be strong in you and in prayers. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, I ask for your strength, O oh God, for your children, O oh God. And I ask you, O oh God, to help them to be strong in you and in prayers. My God, have mercy upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, guarantee your children vindications over every accusations, warrants, indictment, conspiracy, charges, conviction, and anything that the enemy has set up against them in the court of man. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I cry out on behalf of your children, O oh Lord. Grant them, O oh God, their vindication over every accusation, over any conspiracy, over any indictment. Anything that the enemy has set up against them in the court of man. Lord, I cry out to you, O oh God, that you will guarantee their vindications over every indictment, over every conspiracy, over every charges, over every conviction, and, and, and the, what that the enemy has set up against them in the court of man. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cry out to you, to contend with those who contend with me and fight, expose, disgrace, and put to flight those that strive against me. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I cry out to you on behalf of your children. Lord, I ask you to contend with those who contend with your children and fight against them, expose them, and disgrace and put to flight those who strive against your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord of hosts because he's a man of war. Let us thank the Lord. We're going to get into serious prayers now. Begin to thank the Lord. Father, we thank you because you are the Lord of hosts. Lord, we thank you because you are the man of war. Father, we thank you because you are great and greatly to be praised. Lord, we thank you for giving your children victory in their court case. Lord, my God, we cry out to you, O oh God, and we thank you, O oh God, at this time for victory in every court case, O oh God, that is set against us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for your love, for your mercy, and your favor towards us in the court case, in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord. Father, we thank you for your love, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. For your mercy, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for your favor towards your children in the court case. In the name of Jesus. 
Lord mighty God, we worship you because you're worthy to be praised. We thank you because you're worthy, everlasting Father, to be praised. You are worthy to receive every praise in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are the King of kings. Lord, we thank you because your word said the king's, of heart, king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And you can turn it wherever you choose. My God, I come to you. And I lay everyone that is representing me in the court. Everyone that is against me in the court. Father, according to your word, turn their hearts, oh God. Lord God, were it to favor me in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said their hearts is in your hands. And so God, I ask you, oh God, to turn the hearts of the judge. Turn the hearts of the lawyers. Turn the hearts of the representative of the court. In, 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 in your, turn it according to your word. To favor us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, turn the heart of the kings. That is inside those court, Lord. To favor your children. In Jesus' name we pray. I claim victory. Over every adversary. In this court case. In the name of Jesus. I claim victory. Over every adversary in this court case, in the name of Jesus, I claim victory over every adversary in this court case, in the name of Jesus, I claim victory over every adversary in your court case, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for your children and I claim victory over every adversary in their court case, in Jesus name we pray. I bind and paralyze the strong man employed or delegated to disgrace me in the name of Jesus. I bind and I paralyze the strong man delegated or employed to disgrace me in the name of Jesus. I bind and I paralyze the strong man employed or delegated to disgrace you in the name of Jesus. Every strong man employed or delegated to disgrace you, I bind and I paralyze it. In Jesus' name we pray. Let all the affairs of my life be too hot for any evil power to manipulate. In the name of Jesus, let all the affairs of my life be too hot for any evil power to manipulate. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that all your affairs, all the affairs of your life, all the affairs of this court case be too hot for any evil powers to manipulate. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, grant me, the, grant me and my lawyer supernatural wisdom to subdue all opposition. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray to you on behalf of your children that you will grant their lawyers, grant their legal aids supernatural wisdom to subdue all their opposition. In the name of Jesus, I pray over your life that the Lord will grant you and your lawyers your legal aid or whatever legal representative you are using to grant you supernatural wisdom to subdue all your oppositions. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, let it be impossible for our adversary to subdue, to subdue the truth in this matter. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, I cry out to you that it will be impossible for the adversary of your children to subdue the truth in their court cases. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we cry out to you on behalf of your children. Let it be impossible for their adversaries to subdue the truth in this matter. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, let me find favor. In the sight of those who are responsible for judging this case. In the name of Jesus. Lord let your children find favor. In the sight of those who are responsible for judging this court case. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord we pray for your children. That we will find favor. In the sight of those who are responsible for judging their court cases. In Jesus name we pray. I close. Every negative door that the enemy might want to open, use in this case, in the name of Jesus, I close every negative door that the enemy might want to open, use in this case, in Jesus' name we pray. You know, some of you have been in the court system before or even been convicted 
you know you may have a past history and though you may be facing this court case you could be innocent but because of your background the devil will just open those doors and show them this is the person's past you know this is what they have done in the past and they will use that against you and that actually contribute to them judging you in the matter you know it, it's really unfair it's very sad but it does happen so we're gonna have to pray and we're gonna close that pray that the lord will close those negative doors you know put a block towards it that the enemy might want to open to and use against you in whatever court case you're dealing with so let us continue to pray I close every negative door that the enemy might want to open using this court case. In the name of Jesus, I close every negative door that the enemy might want to open using this case. In the name of Jesus, I close begin to close the negative doors. I close every negative door that the enemy might want to open to use in this case. In the name of Jesus, every negative doors from your past that the enemy wants to use to open, to, uh, get, to use against you in this court case. I close it by the power and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You satanic agents, I command you to clear out from the path to my victory in this matter. In the name of Jesus, you satanic agents, I command you to clear out from the pathway to the victory of the children of God in their court cases. In the name of Jesus, satanic agents, I command you in the name of Jesus to clear out from the pathways to victory in the matter of these children of the living God. In Jesus' name we pray. I cancel any demonic decision and expectation concerning this case. In the name of Jesus, I cancel any demonic decision and expectation concerning this case. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every demonic decision and expectation concerning your court case. In Jesus' name we pray. I render null and void every unrighteous decree against me as a result of this case. In the name of Jesus, I render null and void every unrighteous decree as a result of your case. In the name of Jesus, I render null and void every unrighteous decree against you as a result of your court case. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I pray for you and I render null and void every unrighteous decree against you as a result of your court case. In Jesus' name we pray. I overturn and overrule every judgment passed against me by my adversary in the coven by thunder. In the name of Jesus, I overturn and overrule every judgment passed against me by my adversary in the coven by the thunder of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and I overturn and overrule every judgment Pass against you by your adversary in the coven by the thunder of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the spirits and demons release into the ear to influence the lawyers and to give judgment in their favor. Be bound and be disgraced in the name of Jesus. You know, some people are going to court and really they consult dark powers. They go to witchcraft coven. They go to psychics and enchanters and all these people and they release all sorts of spirits to frustrate the court so that they will have favor and they will win so if you're not praying as a child of god you know i pity you because these things coming against you only the mercy of god will be able to deliver you out of it so we're going to be praying these prayers and i hope you pray them with seriousness and pray that the holy spirit will deliver you from all these principalities and rulers of darkness and we're going to continue to pray and believe that the Lord will do something in Jesus' name. Let the spirits and demons release into the ear to influence the lawyers and to give judgment in their favor. Be bound and be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Let all the spirits and demons release into the ear to influence the lawyers, to influence the judge, and to give judgment in their favor. Be bound and be disgraced 
In Jesus' name we pray. You, my adversary, in this court case, I decree that you open your mouth as you open your mouth to speak. You will be confused and begin to speak foolishness. In the name of Jesus, you, my adversary, in this court case, I decree that as you open your mouth to speak, you will be confused and begin to speak foolishness. In the name of Jesus, I decree over your life that your adversary in your court situation, when they open their mouth to speak, they will be confused and begin to speak foolishness. In the name of Jesus, they will begin to speak things that doesn't make any sense. In the name of Jesus, they will begin to speak foolishness so that your favor will be advanced in jesus name we pray father make it possible for me to find favor in the sight of the judge in the name of jesus my father make it possible for your children to find favor in the sight of the judge in the name of jesus lord i pray for your children that and i ask you oh god to make it possible for them to find favor in the sight of the judge in the sight of the lawyers in jesus name we pray lord let me find favor compassion and loving kindness with the jury in the name of jesus lord i pray for your children that they will find favor compassion and loving kindness with the jury in the name of jesus i decree over your life that you will find favor compassion and loving kindness with the jury in your court case in jesus name we pray let all the demonic obstacles that have been established in the heart of anyone against my prosperity be destroyed in the name of jesus let all demonic obstacles that have been established in the heart of anyone against your prosperity be destroyed in jesus name so the reason why i'm praying this prosperity prayer too you know sometimes people have court and the enemy attack their finances and their prosperity so that they can't even afford to pay for a good lawyer so we need to look at that matter we need to attack it we need to pray that there will be no barriers or hindrance towards your finances and we're going to pray that the enemy will not also drain your finances when it comes down to your court cases so we're going to be praying there's a couple of prayer points in this prayer program that will be targeting finances and we encourage you to pray them as we continue let all the demonic obstacles that have been established in the heart of anyone against my prosperity be destroyed in the name of jesus i pray for you that all the demonic obstacles that has been established in the heart of anyone against your prosperity be destroyed in jesus name we pray let all the demonic obstacles that has been established in the heart of anyone against my prosperity be destroyed in the name of jesus let all demonic obstacles that have been established in the heart of the children of god against their finances be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus i pray for the children of god that every demonic obstacles that have been established in the heart of anyone against their finances be destroyed in jesus name we pray amen lord give all parties concerned dreams vision and restlessness that would advance my cause in the name of jesus lord give all parties involved dreams visions and restlessness that would advance my cause in the name of jesus dear god i pray for your children and i pray that you give all the lawyers all the judges all the clerks everybody within the court lord god everybody concerning this matter give them dreams visions and restlessness that would advance the cause of your children in jesus name we pray job 5 verse 12 says that he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprises and so we're going to be praying that the lord will disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise my father in your power disappoint the devices of the crafty in this court case so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise in the name of jesus 
Lord, we pray, mighty God, that you will disappoint the devices of the crafty in this court case so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, in your anger, break the jawbone of every false witnesses that rise against me and breathe out lie as in, ab in an abomination in this court case. In the name of Jesus, Lord, in your anger, I pray to you and I ask you to break the jawbone of every false witnesses that rise against your children and breathe out lies as an abomination in this court case. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, we pray for your children and we ask you, O oh God, to break the jawbones of every false witness that rise against them and breathe out lies and abomination in their court cases. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're going to continue to pray. I break the backbone of the spirits of conspiracy and treachery. In the name of Jesus, I break the backbone of the spirits of conspiracy, conspiracy and treachery. In this court case, in the name of Jesus, I break the backbone of the spirits of conspiracy and treachery over the court cases of your children, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I break the backbone of the spirits of conspiracy and treachery over the court cases. In Jesus' name we pray. I paralyze. The handiwork of household enemies and envious agents in this matter. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze the handiwork of household enemies and envious agents in this matter. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I paralyze the handiwork of household enemies and envious agents in these court cases. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the Lord confuse the tongues of those gathered to do me harm after the order of the builders of the towers of Babel in the name of Jesus let the Lord confuse the tongues of those who gathered to do the children of God harm after the order of, of the builders of the towers of Babel in the name of Jesus I pray for you that the Lord will confuse the tongues of those who gather to do you harm after the order of the builders of the towers of Babel in Jesus' name we pray. I bind and put to flight all the spirits of fear, anxiety, and discouragement. In the name of Jesus, I bind and put to flight all the spirits of fear, anxiety, and discouragement. In the name of Jesus, I bind and I put to flight every spirit of fear, every spirit of anxiety, Every spirit of discouragement that is troubling you as it comes down to this court case. In the name of Jesus, I bind and I put to flight all spirits of fear, all spirits of anxiety and discouragement come over your life right now. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has not given you the spirit of fear but of power, love and a sound mind. Lord, let divine wisdom Fall upon all who are supporting me in these matters. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for your children that divine wisdom will fall upon all those who are supporting them in these matters. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for your children that divine wisdom will fall upon everyone that is supporting them in their matters. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, hammer my matter into the mind of those who will assist me so that they will not suffer demonic memory loss in the name of jesus oh lord my father how may the matter of your children into the minds of those who will assist them in their court case so that they do not suffer from demonic memory loss in jesus name we pray let my adversaries make mistakes that will advance my cause in the name of jesus Lord, I cry out on behalf of your children and I ask you, O oh God, to let their adversaries in this court case make mistakes that will advance their cause. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your children, O oh God, that the adversary of your children will begin to make mistakes that will advance their cause. In Jesus' name we pray. I command every evil power and vessel 
sitting on my right and goodness to be violently overthrown in the name of Jesus. I command every evil power and vessel sitting on my right and goodness to be violently overthrown in the name of Jesus. I pray for you and I command every evil power and vessel that is sitting on your right and your goodness to be violently overthrown in Jesus name we pray. Let every counsel, plan, desire, expectation, imagination, device, and activity of the enemy against this case be rendered null and void in the name of Jesus. Let every counsel, plan, desire, expectation, imagination, device, and activity of the enemy as the, against this case be rendered null and void in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that every counsel, plan, desire, expectation, imagination, device, and activity of the enemy against your court case will be rendered null and void. In Jesus' name we pray. Proverbs 19 verse 21 says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. So we're going to ask the Lord to let his counsel stand. When it comes on to the matter of your court case. Father Lord, we ask for your divine counsel to stand. Concerning this court case. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your divine counsel stand. Concerning this court case. In the name of Jesus. Father, we cry out for your children, oh God. And we ask you, oh God, to let your counsel stand. When it comes on to their court case. In Jesus name we pray. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. Purge my life from any evil mark put upon me in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the fire of the Holy Spirit will purge your life from any evil mark that is put upon you. In Jesus' name we pray. I pursue, I overtake, and I recover my properties from the hands of spiritual Egyptians in the name of Jesus. I pursue, overtake, and recover my properties from the hands of spiritual Egyptians. In the name of Jesus, I pursue, overtake, and recover your properties from the hands of spiritual Egyptians. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord God Almighty will empower you to pursue, overtake, and recover all your properties from the hands of spiritual Egyptians. In Jesus' name we pray. Let all my blessings presently in the prison of the enemy begin to pursue me and overtake me as from today. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that all your blessings presently in the prison of the enemy will begin to pursue you and overtake you as from today. In Jesus' name we pray. I refuse to be tossed about by any demonic device of the enemy. To delay my miracle in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be tossed about by any demonic device of the enemy to delay my miracle in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the enemy will not toss you about with any demonic devices to and delay your miracle in Jesus' name. We pray. Holy Spirit, teach me to avoid unfriendly friends and evil advisors in this court case. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, teach your children to avoid unfriendly friends and evil advisors in this court case. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Holy Spirit will teach you to avoid evil counselors and unfriendly friends in this court case. In Jesus' name we pray. I terminate every journey into bondage and unfruitfulness designed for me by the enemies of my soul in the name of jesus i terminate every journey into bondage and unfruitfulness designed for you by the enemies of your soul in jesus name we pray i send confusion into the camp of the enemy concerning this court case in the mighty name of jesus i send confusion into the camp of the enemy concerning this court case 
in the authority in the blood of Jesus. I send confusion into the camp of your enemies concerning these court cases. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let all the demonic obstacles that have been established in the heart of anyone in this court case against me burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that every demonic obstacles that have been established in the hearts of anyone in your court cases against you be burned to ashes. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to confess this seven times. Lord Jesus, be my advocate and judge in this court case. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, be my advocate and judge in this court case. Lord Jesus, be my advocate and judge in this court case. Lord Jesus, be my advocate and judge in this court case. Lord Jesus, be my advocate and judge in this court case. Lord Jesus, be my advocate and judge in this court case. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, be my advocate and judge in this court case. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you that the Lord God Almighty himself will be your advocate and judge in your court case in the name of Jesus. So this section we're going to be praying and we're going to be dragging our enemy to the court of the Almighty. So we, we you have the human court and you have the spiritual court. We have the court of the Almighty. So, and when you drag your enemy to the court of the Almighty, woe be unto that person. Is the only, Nobody can fight with God. And when you drag them to the court of the Lord, you know, and God start to judge them and deal with them, it's only God alone that will be able to deliver that person. So we're going to be praying and we're going to ask the Lord to, um, we're going to be praying and we're going to um, drag these enemies to the court of the Almighty. I drag every enemy of my court case to the courtroom of the almighty in the name of jesus every enemy of my court case i drag you to the court of the almighty in the name of jesus you can put anything you want you can put your career your marriage your destiny your health your finances you can drag them every enemy of any of those eras you you drag them to the court of the almighty so I will pray it and I'll add something else and you can add whatever you please and the Lord will have mercy on you. I drag every enemy of my finances to the courtroom of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. I drag every enemy of my marriage to the court of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. I drag every enemy of my career to the court of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. I drag every enemy of my court case to the court of the Almighty in Jesus' name we pray. Powers assigned to disgrace me. I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to disgrace the children of God. I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power assigned to disgrace you, I drag them to the court of the Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Witchcraft powers of my father's house. Witchcraft powers of my mother's house. I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft power of your father's house, every witchcraft power of your mother's house, I drag them to the court of the Almighty in Jesus' name we pray. Every power summoning my spirit to any satanic court, what are you waiting for? Some assault in the name of Jesus. Every power summoning my spirit to any satanic court. What are you waiting for? Some assault and die in the name of Jesus. Every power summoning my spirit to any satanic court. What are you waiting for? Die in Jesus' name we pray. My father, I come to your courtroom. Now, avenge me of my adversaries in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father, I come to your courtroom right now, oh God. Avenge me of my adversaries in the name of Jesus. Father, your children, 
come to you to the courtroom in your courtroom oh god avenge them of their adversaries in the name of jesus lord they come to you with their various court cases in your courtroom oh god father have mercy on them and avenge them of their adversaries in the name of jesus avenge them of your adverse of their adversaries in jesus name we pray oh god arise in your anger and rain fire on their altars and shrine that is manipulating this case right now in the name of jesus oh god arise in your anger and rain fire on and brimstone on the altars and shrines that is manipulating these court cases in the name of jesus i pray for you that the lord god almighty will arise in his anger and in his wrath and he will rain fire and brimstone on every altar and shrines that is manipulating your court cases in jesus name we pray i command my money being caged by the enemy to be completely released in the name of jesus i command my money being caged by the enemy to be completely released in the name of jesus all of your money that the enemy is caged as a result of this court cage let it be completely released right now in the name of jesus all of your money being caged by the enemy let it be released right now in jesus name we pray you devil take your leg away from the top of my finances in the name of jesus you devil take your leg away from the top of the finances of the children of god in the name of jesus i pray for you that the devil will take his leg away from the top of your finances in jesus name we pray i bind every money consuming demon attached to my attached to my finances in the name of jesus i bind every money consuming demon attached to my finances in the name of jesus i pray for you that every money consuming demon that is attached to your finances will be bound right now in jesus name we pray may the lord have mercy on you and cause you to have a verdict in your favor i pray that the stubborn case that the, the enemy has raised against you will be dropped for good in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 3.23 that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I want you to know that if you are guilty, there will be consequences for your actions. But if you go before the Lord in repentance and change your ways, he will have mercy on you. Proverbs 21 verse 1 says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. I pray for you that the Holy Spirit will teach you what to say each time you have to face the court and interact with those involved in your court case. I pray that you will depart from evil and do good from today and let the love of God shine through every area of your life in the name of Jesus. We're going to close off with Psalms 146. I'll be using the King James Version. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, Will I praise the Lord? I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth the sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which execute judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. Or the Lord looseth his prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and the widow. But the way of the wicked, he turned it, he turned it upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generation. Praise he the Lord. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining us in prayers. I pray that you have victory in your court case. I pray that the hand of God will overshadow your life. And I pray that his mercy will extend towards you. I pray that from now on you will live a life of righteousness and truth. 
I pray that also if you're being wrongly convicted, the Lord will deliver you and give you double for your trouble. I pray for you and your family that God will give you strength to continue to pray in this time. And I pray that the hand of the Lord will be glorified in every year of your life. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you very soon with another set of prayers. You can always reach out to us at ministries at gmail.com or go to our website, ministries.com and send us an email from there. Please feel free to share, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.